Every surgical instrument is designed to perform a specific function. Often called sharps, these instruments are designed for cutting or incising. They are used to retract tissue and bone. These instruments are used to grasp, hold, and occlude. These are designed to dilate or enlarge. These are used to remove or inject fluids. These are designed to hold suturing needles. All these instruments are named after their inventors or doctors, their function, their appearance. Also, nicknames are sometimes used. Instruments are divided into four major groups. Knives for cutting skin, scissors and forceps for dissecting, retractors for retracting tissue, organs and bone, needle holders for suturing. The shape and length of instruments vary according to the body parts and surgical specialties involved. Designed to hold blades, these are available in different shapes and sizes. Always be very careful when handling this type of instrument. Scissors are used to cut tissue, sutures, bandages, and clothing. They are available in straight, curved, and angled models. When fully opened, well-made scissors have a lot of play at the hinge to allow for better cutting. Surgeons often prefer curved model for dissection because they provide a better field of view. Straight scissors are used for the sheer cutting of sutures, nerves, and blood vessels. All these scissors are also used to enlarge incisions. The smaller scissors are used at the surface and the larger sizes deeper in the cavities. Scissors should always be used for their intended purpose or they may be ruined. Don't forget to sharpen them on a regular basis. Now let's look at the different types of scissors. Supercut scissors have one razor sharp and one serrated blade. Their improved geometry and cutting action ensure superior cutting ability. Serrations can also be added to most models by special order. The serrated blades help to prevent slippage, provide better control and precision, and hold their sharpness longer. Recognizable by their golden finger rings, these scissors have more durable blades. The most commonly used scissors include these delicate scissors are the best for dissecting. The curved models of these strong scissors are used to cut and dissect tough tissue. The straight models used to cut sutures are often called cat gut scissors. Used to cut gauze and sutures, they are available in three different models. Blunt blunt, blunt sharp, and sharp sharp. These short, delicate scissors are used for cosmetic and ophthalmic surgery. With their duck-billed tips, they are commonly used for hand surgeries. Designed for ophthalmic surgery, these are also called colibri because of their bird shape. Also used in ophthalmology, they are easily recognizable as they have spatulas instead of finger rings. These scissors are designed for rhinoplastic surgery. Their tips have flat ends for better dissection. Surgeons use forceps to hold skin, organs, muscles, tissue, and bone. The main ones include These instruments are used to hold the drape around the incision. These forceps hold the sponges used to disinfect the skin before surgery. They are also used in gynecology. Dressing forceps are tweezer-type forceps. Their tips are usually serrated horizontally or have a smooth, toothless surface. 
These are similar to the immediately preceding model, except that they have teeth at the ends. Tissue forceps are designed to grasp and hold tissue or skin. Hemostatic forceps are used to hold, grasp, and dissect tissue, muscle, organs, and bone. They can be straight, curved, or angled. Let's take a look at the main ones. These are called mosquito because they are small and delicate. The jaws of Kral forceps are fully serrated, while those of Kelly forceps are only half serrated. Long forceps with horizontal serrations. Identical to the preceding ones, except with teeth at the end of the jaws. The longitudinal serrations of the jaws are less traumatic than horizontal ones. These have angled jaws. With small teeth at the ends, these forceps are used primarily for intestinal surgery. These have a triangular shape and are used to hold the lungs in thoracic surgery. Used primarily for intestinal surgery, the oval shape of these forceps makes them less traumatic. Used for vascular surgery, their jaw's numerous teeth protect blood vessels during surgery. These forceps are designed to control blood flow. These forceps hold, stabilize, rotate, reduce, and compress bone. These are used to retract, expose, or push tissue, muscles, organs, or bones during surgery. Handheld retractors must be held during surgery. The depth of the incision determines the size and model of the retractor. The smaller models are used on the surface to hold back skin and tissue, while the larger ones are designed to retract muscles, organs, and bones in deeper cavities. Self-retaining models stay in place by themselves. To minimize trauma, the position of the retractors must be changed frequently. These instruments are designed to cut or remove small pieces of tissue or bone. The most popular names according to specialty are Backbiter Through Cut Blakesley Jensen Middleton Grunwald Takahashi Lure Lampert Bayer Ruskin Stille Friedman, Jansen, Semb, Eklin, Smith Peterson, Sauerbrush, Kevorkian, Tiskler,
Schumacher. These are designed to cut bone and to remove bone splinters. The most popular ones are Liston, Mekindo, Ruskin, Kerosene. Needle holders are used for suturing. They are similar to hemostats but with thicker and shorter jaws. The smaller the needle, the smaller the jaws of the needle holder need to be. If the needle is too big to be held securely, it is better to use a larger needle holder. Otherwise, the needle may slip or the needle holder may break. Always use the right size of needle holder. Only jaws with tungsten carbide inserts can be replaced, making them more economical in the long run. They are recognizable by their golden rings. 